Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to go into the Faro settings. If I go down here to System and Settings, I find a little window will pop up with a whole bunch of things I can customize about my environment. So I can go to the Appearance, I can go to the Desktop, expand that out, and you notice there are a whole bunch of things I can go in here. For instance, I could set myself to full screen mode. If I don't know what these options mean, notice it explains it to me, so I can compress that down again. I can come down here to Code Browsing, one of the nice things you can do is turn pretty print on. It's normally off. I turned it to on. What that means is that by default, browsers will format the code so that you don't have to worry about the way somebody else wrote it. It'll show up in kind of a standard way. That doesn't affect the way it's saved, just the way it's displayed. I can scroll down to things like the change list editor, check for slips, exhibit differences. Notice again, it explains what these things mean if I'm not sure. I go down to editing and it'll show me things like, well, do I want my author identification? Down here, it'll show me and allow me to set how my code editing will be displayed to other people. Whether there's multiple undo, a bunch of other things, go down even to the things like the compiler, I can check things here. This is probably something you should leave off. The reason underscore used to be allowable is that assignment used to be the left arrow, which once you got to standard keyboards disappeared and people used underscore, kind of a bad thing. So you don't want to normally leave that on unless you're working with really old code. Various settings for the debugger, notice again, tons of stuff here, and Monticello, which is the version control system used by Faro. Again, a bunch of settings there. It's going to look into my default local repository, and that's how things are going to be saved for me, and you might want to set that to a path that is writable. Normally it will be writable, but you want to make sure, depending on what system you're on, for instance on Windows and OS X, make sure it's into either documents or some external drive where you have write access and a bunch of other things including the network and refactoring engine, tons of things. I would advise you to go select each one that you're interested in, read this stuff down here, and then make changes as appropriate. So, that's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.